Hey guys, Comet here. Welcome to episode 9 in my Factorio Odyssey series. Now this is the second time <laughs> doing this intro because some biters actually attacked me mid-intro. So I think the very first thing I'm gonna do is remake my car. Oh, and there's another attack. Because in the last episode, I blew it up. Well, the biters blew it up because of my bad driving. And they ran me around the map, attacking me from every direction. And there's another attack. Hey, but on the bright side, my sulfur's looking good. So I have enabled a couple new mods. One is squeak through, just for quality of life stuff. See, I'm running through these pipes now. And the other is max rate calculator. So I'll add those to the description. And if I can think of any more, or if you have any suggestions, you can leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll take a look at the mod. But in this episode, when I want to get done, I want to put in some turrets. And I know I got some laser turrets in the last episode. Where is that? Oh, I have to do military science first. Okay. If I take a look at the pollution cloud, I want to make a car. I want to remove this nest, this nest, and then there, there has to be a nest up here somewhere that keeps attacking me. So I'll take out these nests, and then start working on military science, get that ratioed out and built, and then I'll put in some laser turrets around the perimeter that I set up a long time ago. So the car, I need some engine units, and I have a ton of engine units here. There's my car, gotta fuel it up, and I'll give it some ammo. I'll start with, I think this one up here, and then go check out the top. So I'll make a little safety area with my turrets down in this area, right about here. And then I'll get a little bit closer. And then a little bit closer still. Okay, these guys aren't doing anything. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer without the worms attacking. Yeah, I think right here is the max. Okay, now I'm going to drive around. And try not to blow up the car again. I want to focus the worms as much as possible, and then go after the spawners. Okay, that nest won't be bothering me anymore. Let's see, the next one... Oh, there's another one up here. Okay. Well, while I'm here, I guess I'll take that one out too. It's a nice uranium patch. Oh, this one looks a little... <laughs> this one looks like it has a couple more worms than the last one. And these biters look a little meaner too. Oh no, where are they attacking? Oh uh, no. Okay, I'm gonna go back up here. I wanna finish taking out that nest, and then... I think these guys attacked me from... This one over here. Oh. <laughs> I think I might need a tank. Because this one has some big worms on it. Okay, yeah, I can't- I can't do this here. That nest is too big, and they're attacking me. I do have a little bit more time before the pollution cloud hits this nest. So I think I will take out this biter nest down here because it's smaller. Um, check to see if this cloud up here is hitting anything, and then take out this nest. And then I need to get started on military science so I can actually fight back. And maybe switching to solar to alleviate some of the uh, pollution that all the generators are producing. But yeah, this nest looks much smaller. Okay. 
Okay, all the worms are gone. Let me get these guys to go walk into my turrets. Repair my car up. Or maybe run away. And then repair the car. Yeah, these turrets need a little love too. I feel like I'm playing zombies. I got a train behind me. Last nest there. And then I'm gonna run these guys into my turrets. If I can... Oh, I'm out of ammo. Um... Turrets help. I need to restock the car. Oh no, I'm just completely out of ammo. Okay. Uh, I'll use the ammo stuck in the turrets. Oh, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Oh, I didn't put any in the car. <laughs> um. Okay, I gotta be quick. There we go. Okay. This nest won't bother me anymore. And I'm being attacked again. Will these guys follow me the whole way? I gotta hurry back over here. That's a lot of stuff that's breaking. Okay, I think that's everything they broke. Let me fix these up. And that attack looked like it came from up here. And there's another nest. Okay, here... Pollution is a very big problem. It might be too big of a problem. Now, I know I have some solar panels somewhere. Here we go. So next to this, I'm gonna set up a simple... Solar panel setup, I think. Maybe something... Uh, like this? Will this work? How does this tile? I don't think I like this. This just looks weird. I guess I'll just be boring and go with the, uh, square design. Because I know this tiles. So, without accumulators, I can't be entirely solar. But, during the day, the solar panels will run instead of the engines. And solar panels don't produce any pollution. So, it will cut down on my pollution production during the day. Which will reduce my total overall pollution. And, there they are again, knocking on my door. I think the places where they most frequently attack... I'll just set up some quick turrets. Slow them down. And I need a machine making more ammo, actually. I just ran out of ammo. Okay, it's just iron. Can I make the better stuff? And that takes steel and... Yeah, maybe I should get onto these piercing rounds. 
So right about here, I think I can fit some ammo production. We'll have these guys making the regular ammo, which only takes iron. So I can get iron in right here. And then the output here can be that ammo. And then I need some machines making the better stuff. So they'll output here. And then they will input steel and copper like this. Oh, I'm getting attacked from two sides. Okay, but back to what I was doing over here. The output actually needs to be the long-handed inserter. And then the inputs could be here. Because then I can belt weave like this. And this belt right here needs to be copper and steel. So steel first. And then I'll run copper all the way up here. Oh, right, yeah. Of course I'd do something like that. Belt goes here. And then I'll get these guys outputting into a box. And I'm being attacked, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the ammo that these guys have made already. And I'm going to set up some turrets down here, because this is the fourth time I've been attacked while working on that. And then once I have some turrets set up, I'll go down and smack that nest. Okay, one, two, three turrets. And now where am I getting attacked? Oh, the generators. Okay, where's my car? Let's go take out that nest. Got a little bit of ammo on me, but it's the stronger stuff, so it should be enough. Got to avoid... Oh, look at that. Alright, down here towards the bottom. It's just outside the uh, fog of war. Or would it be just inside if I can't see it? It's down over here. Now, it's got to be down here somewhere. That's the one I already cleared. Ah, there it is. Alright, let me get some turrets set up. Get a couple more closer. And see if I can't focus down the worms. This forest is kind of in the way. Okay, well, I lost another car, but I thought ahead, I brought another one. Okay, so that nest shouldn't bother me anymore. So there's just this one down here, uh, this one over here, and then these that are just outside the pollution cloud. But I do have a solar panel array set up now, so I shouldn't be making quite as much pollution. But once I get the military science up, the pollution's going to start back up again. Because right now the base is pretty idle. So the first thing I want to do once I have the military science, I want to get laser turrets. So I can start defending the base. So using a factorio calculator, I can see what I need to make here. I need 18 factories making the science. I could do three, one on each side here. Seven on each side here, and then one on each side here. So I'll do it similar to how I did the blue science, where it's in two sections. So down the center will be the output. And it will connect in to where the blue also connects in. Back over here. And I will also put this blueprint in my Discord, if you're interested in using this exact blueprint. I also have the blueprints for the blue, green, and 
red science. So these take three inputs. So we're going to need two belts. And then I just need to mirror this on this side. And of course I'm being attacked. Because why not? Try and throw every biter at me while I'm trying to do something. Alright, where did that biter come from? I actually don't know. I'm just gonna put some turrets at the top of this up here. Cover all my bases. So belt here, and belt here. Now I will copy this. Now I need to set up the part that makes the parts for this. So I need, according to the calculator, two making walls, 14 making grenades, and 6 making piercing rounds. And I think I want to put walls on the inside here. And then put grenades and piercing rounds on the outside. So that, that might be a little trickier. Okay, so this inside one here will go under this splitter and then get distributed. That will make the walls. So one, two, we'll output in the center. And then over here, I need this to make grenades. And those take two inputs. They can output on the center. And then over here, I can make the special ammo. I can actually just copy this. I already have this built. So it looks like I'm going to need more space. It's actually been a while since I've been attacked. I think switching to solar... Yeah, my cloud is kind of shrinking. Hopefully that'll buy me enough time to get my military upgraded. So grenades take iron and coal. So this will go under there. You can have iron and coal come in here, and they can share the belt. Same on this side. And then here I only need stone. And I've got just enough space here to do something like this. Try and save some belt. So this is going to have to go under again. So I've got the stone bricks in here. Then I need iron and coal here. So there's coal. And then I'll grab some iron from there. Ooh, actually, there's a better way of doing this. Yeah, if I have... This might be a little messy. I can actually do it up here. 
if I do something like this, then I can maintain throughput on both lines. All right, now all I need to connect up are these lines here. So the center one is iron, so I'll send the iron down that way. So I might need a red underground there to make that jump. So then I can put copper here. That'll have to go under. Let me go grab some steel and put it on this belt. And I can get copper here. Ooh, well, not that. Yeah, I can get copper here, but then... That's going to be a little messy. But these output on the far end of the belt. So this actually doesn't cause any problems. And then I will branch off some steel here. And go under here. So that should get everything connected up. We should see some military science flowing. Yep, there's some. So let's get laser turrets. Yes. I'm actually I'm just going to do every military upgrade. I need everything. And these biters are too strong. And we are actually completely on solar panels during the day. So there's no pollution being made from the steam engines. And if I remember right, the biters did some damage. Yeah, they hurt my labs a little bit. So I'll make two to fix this. Let me double check that there's a spot in the mall to actually make laser turrets. And that is a negative because there's no... There's no spots for batteries on these input lines, so there's no way that this could make laser turrets. So laser turrets need steel plates, batteries, and electronic circuits. I will set up a simple factory over here. So I'll extend the bus and then have a couple machines making laser turrets. Or maybe it would be better to just extend the mall. Wow, there's like no iron on this line. I could put in another balancer. That'll even the flow back out. Tanks, yes, I can unlock tanks now. And it looks like I don't actually have enough labs. So I can double what I have right now by just copying this and rotating it. Uh, but then the power poles don't line up. Oh, that's gross. Never mind. I think I can copy this section at least. Okay, I've got the extra labs in, but now it looks like I have a military science bottleneck. And that is being caused by my lack of stone brick, which is being caused by my lack of stone ore. And if I take stock of what I actually have left, um, I don't have much copper left. I've got plenty of coal. I've got a little bit of iron left, but ba basically no stone. So the base needs to expand. And if I look around, I've got a ton of copper. I've got some stone patches that I can expand to. And this is the only iron patch I can see besides the starting iron. So what I want to do, which I started earlier, but got sidetracked. I need to make the factories that make the laser turrets. And I think I will stop with this ammo production here. So I'll cut the iron. Actually, I'll just cut everything. Because once I have laser turrets, I don't need any of this ammo anymore. Oh dear. Oh, they didn't break anything. Okay, they just damaged things. I'll get a couple more defensive turrets here protect that. 
and I will remove this now and convert it all over to laser turrets instead. And I might also want to start making some accumulators. So let's see here. A laser turret takes steel batteries and circuits. Okay, that's not too hard. I probably only need the four machines for now. I'll just output into some boxes. So if this is steel and green circuits, right? Because the batteries, yeah, the batteries go on this side here. So I'll get that side going. Let me move this power pole to here. And that should get laser turrets going. Oh, but I'm out of steel. Okay, how do we solve this steel problem then? I think it might be as simple as just changing the priority on the splitter over here. Well, wow, I'm not getting any iron. Oh, that's not good. Okay, but I will do an output priority of left here to divert more of it into the steel. I might actually want to do it on this one too. So that'll get the lasers going. And then to get more stone, I think I might actually want to make an outpost out here because I could run some power poles over to here, put a uh, perimeter just around the stone with some laser turrets, and built over the stone. I don't know if I want to do that in this episode, though. I think I might save that for the next one. So what did I get done in this episode? Well, mainly, I put in the military science, and I've started to control my pollution a little bit by putting in all of these solar panels. I can build tanks and laser turrets now, so biters are less of a problem, but they are still a very big problem. I wasn't run around the map by the biters as much as I thought I was going to. Yeah, my turrets are handling the attacks just fine. But I did find some really mean nests up here. That's gonna take more firepower, probably the tank. Once I make a tank, I'll go over here and take out these nests. But that will definitely have to wait for the next episode. Now I did say I was gonna make a blueprint for uh, the military science here, but it doesn't look very good. There's a lot of open space. I may redo this and upload that blueprint instead. But anyway, I think all in all that's decent progress for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.